green synthesis of silver nanoparticles using leaf extract of Argaria nervosa and its anti-cancerous activity. The aim is to study the anti-cancerous activity of Argaria nervosa leaf by green synthesis of silver nanoparticles. The objectives are synthesis of silver nanoparticles using aqueous leaf extract of Argaria nervosa and to check its anti-cancerous activity. Cancer is a heterogeneous group of related disorders with macroscopic features like metastatic spread, mass, abnormal and relentless growth. Plant-based systems have an essential role in the primary health care of 80% of the world's population, including diseases like cancer. Nanoscience and technology, along with the science of nanoparticles, has been successfully applied in various fields. Nanoparticles are used in treatment and diagnosis due to the shape, size, and unique light and heat characteristics. The main key is to achieve the most cost-effective treatment available to the humans. Biological methods play a paramount role in the synthesis of metal nanoparticles. Living organisms can also be utilized to produce these particles like fungi and bacteria. Silver nanoparticles have stability to heat and they also have other properties like antimicrobial, antioxidant, antiviral, anti-cancer and also in anti-inflammatory activities. The synthesis of silver nanoparticles is a two-step process. The first step involves silver ions reducing to silver and the next step includes the agglomeration and stabilization that form the oligomeric clusters of colloidal silver nanoparticles. The first step in our project includes the preparation of Argaria nervosa leaves extract for nanosynthesis. Healthy leaves of Argaria nervosa were collected from a herbal garden located in Hyderabad, Telangana, India. The collected leaves were dipped in distilled water to remove surface adhered dust particles and was shade dried for 15 days. One twenty six grams of cut leaves were mixed with two point five liters of distilled water and then boiled for one point five hours at sixty degrees Celsius. It was then cooled to room temperature and filtered with muslin cloth to obtain clear leaf aqueous extract. The prepared extract is used for silver nanoparticle synthesis. The reaction mixture was then shaken to ensure thorough mixing and after twenty four hours the color was changed to dark reddish brown. The extracts were stored for further use. The next step involves the purification of the obtained silver nanoparticles. The silver nanoparticles which were obtained were purified and separated from the unreacted compounds by repeated centrifugation at 6000 rpm for 20 minutes twice followed by washing three times with deionized water. The purified powder was obtained by a rota evaporator and the dried silver nanoparticles were then used for further characterization. The next step is the characterization of the synthesized silver nanoparticles. Semi-analysis is used to determine the surface morphology and size distribution of the silver nanoparticles. Using UV spectrometry, the spectrum of the sample was seen to be in the range of 250 nanometers to 550 nanometers. The maximum wavelength was found to be at 490 nanometers. This is due to the super plasma resonance effect. This effect is exhibited only by silver nanoparticles. I would like to conclude by saying that this overall study focuses on the usage of methods and techniques that can be easily performed with cost-efficient and economical practices. The plant Argaria nervosa is proven to have anti-cancerous activity and the study is expected to prove the increase in the efficacy of anti-cancerous activity from the form nanoparticles. 
would like to convey our sincere thanks to several individuals as this project would not have been possible without the guidance and help of several individuals who in one way or the other contributed and extended their valuable assistance in the preparation and completion of this study. Thank you.